Happy Easter, everyone. It's so good to see all of you. I hope that as I get into this sermon that you're not too offended. I'm going to say a bit of wonderful orthodoxy for about half of you and a terrible heresy for the other half of you. If you look down there in the bottom corner of that slide, you'll figure out very quickly where the sermon is going right here. Okay, friends, if you're not an Alabama fan, you will really remember this sermon. (laughs) And to get us started with that, I'm going to invite any kids to come and join me right here on the stairs this morning, okay? Come on down. I've got a beautiful and wonderful phrase I get to teach you all this morning, okay? And some of your parents are not going to be happy about it at all, okay? Come on down. Yeah, come on down, okay? And then I want you to actually sit on the second stair, Okay, and we're going to start like this, okay? I want you to put your feet on the stair in front of you right there, and I want you to start stomping in rhythm like that, just like that, yep, Uh uh-huh, yeah, you hear that rumbling right there? Okay, stop, yeah, that rumbling, friend is the same kind of rumbling that Mary heard that morning, okay? Now I'm going to teach you all a phrase, okay? It's this phrase right here, roll tide. Can you say it with me on the count of three, two, one? Roll tide. Oh, that's a beautiful sound, friends. Uh, I told you, this was going to be a burner for some of you right here. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Exactly. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this phrase, friends, okay? So, there's a team, okay, in this this state called Alabama, okay? And they say this phrase, Roll Tide. And they say it for all sorts of different reasons. They will see one another on the street and just look at one and go, Roll Tide. And someone will give out a little fist bump or a high five or whatever. It's just like... Roll Tide, like, hey, how you doing today? Roll Tide. Roll tide. Yeah, exactly, right? Boom, exactly, right? Or let's say someone's having a hard time and you're trying to give them a little encouragement. You go, yeah, Roll Tide, like, you can do it, right? Or someone does something absolutely nutty and crazy and you look at them with this laugh and you're like, hey, buddy, high five, Roll Tide. Roll tide. Boom, just like that, right? Roll Tide, yeah. Now, why am I teaching you about this phrase today? Because, friends, just like Alabama uses this phrase, roll tide, to let people know all kinds of different things, in our faith, we have a phrase that, as people came in the door this morning, I used as a greeting, right? I said, he is risen, and people responded with, he is risen indeed. Okay, so on the, I'm going to say he is risen, and you're going to respond back. He is risen indeed. Okay, yeah. ready? He is risen. He is risen indeed. Yeah, let's do that one more time. He is risen. He is risen. Ah, yes, exactly. And we use that phrase sometimes to say hello and as a greeting. Sometimes we say it because someone's down and they need encouragement. You go, you know what? He is risen. They go, yeah, that's right. He is risen indeed. And sometimes someone does something absolutely amazing. You go, what? He is risen. You go, he is risen indeed. So I want you to stand up for a moment, okay? Because I really want to get this roll tide. He is risen indeed all mixed up for you because your, your people out there who don't like Alabama, okay, <laughs> they are going to remember this sermon, I promise you, forever, okay? So Jessica's right back there in the back, okay? On the count of three, I'm going to send you running back there. When you get there, okay, then I'll count three, two, one, and that's when you roll, you say out to her, 
you can. You can take off your shoes. You will say out to her, roll tide, just as loudly as you can, okay? You think you can do that? Yep, all of you? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, run. And then three, two, one, roll tide. No, 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 no. Three, two, one, roll tide. There you go. Now I want you to run right back up there to those stairs. Now stay standing, stay standing. Okay. Now I want you to do the thing with your feet again. Yep. And then I want you to say the phrase with me to them. And then they're going to answer us back. We're going to say, he is risen. And they're going to say, he is risen indeed. Ready? Three, two, one. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Ah, you all can go back to your seats for a little bit. I'll bring you back up here at the end. But I told you, some of you are going to love this sermon today. And others of you are going to be like, That's the worst Easter sermon I've ever heard in my life. Because, friends, I want you to understand what was happening in this Scripture text today. Those women showed up at that tomb. They were grieving. They were hurting. They were suffering. They were in pain. Their friend, their teacher, their rabbi, their savior their Lord had died. They had come to anoint his body. They came with all kinds of ointments and, and uh, all, all the stuff to anoint his body with. Okay? All these spices, all these really fragrant perfumes. And when they showed up, they were asking this question, who will roll the stone away for us so that they could go into this tomb so they could go in and anoint his body so that they could care for the one that they loved and then in the second text they show up and there's some rumbling there's some rumbling friends Just like those kids on those stairs, there was rumbling, there was an earthquake, there was movement, there was sound, and all of a sudden, a being of light, like lightning, appears. And the women look, and the stone has been rolled away. I don't know about you, but there's so many times in my life where I'm in a difficult situation where I show up and I ask a similar question as those women that day. Who's going to do something about this for me? Who's going to roll my stone away? Who's going to help me get to this next place and step where I have no power, no control, no ability to get there, where I cannot see a different kind of ending where all that I know is the mess that I'm in. The only thing I know is my grief and hurt and pain in that moment. And I'm asking who can roll the stone away. But friends, it is precisely in those moments is precisely in that questioning, is precisely in those doubts, those anxieties, those fears, and asking those kinds of questions that God does this divine work in you and me. There is a roll tide coming. There is a rolling of the actual stone. It is called Easter, friends. It is resurrection. It is new life. It is new creation. It is things that you and I cannot even imagine. It is miracles that you and I experience. Because when we look down our histories, when we look back through our stories, what we find over and over and over again in our lives is these places of immense pain, of devastation, of destruction, of depression. 
is that a stone gets rolled away and you and I come victoriously out of these places and become the very human beings that are full of strength, life, grace, love. That's resurrection, friends. That is life defeating death. That is the divine working inside us humans. That is the roll tide that each and every one of us needs in our lives. So when we say a phrase like, He is risen, He is risen indeed. It required a reverend to do that, friends. (laughs) He is risen. risen He is risen. He is risen. risen He is risen. risen Ah, friends, you and I need to say that phrase over and over and over again to ourselves, knowing. That God will appear. Knowing that God is going to do something incredible in our lives. That God will roll the stone back. And that what we thought was dead can come alive again. Now all the kids out there, right where you're at, in your seats, okay? I want you to start doing that rumbling on the ground right where you're at. Can you do it for me? Yeah. Yeah. See, when they're all together, and the stairs help, let's be honest, right? That creates quite the sound. But when we spread out, it's easy for all that to get lost, isn't it? So I think they're going to need a little help this morning from all of us. So let's all rumble together. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen.